Hey there. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a support help desk plugin with your WordPress blog or website. So the thing about this plugin is it will have a built-in support system once enabled and you can use your blog for collecting support requests or feedback from your users or buyers for your service and you can answer to them within your WordPress dashboard so you don't have to sign up to services like Zendesk or any other paid system which allows you to do just that there are many plugins which are paid but I'm using this plugin called awesome support which is free and you only have to pay when you are buying add-ons like WooCommerce and a payment system so that of the out of the way let's check plugins in WordPress dashboard click on add new now type awesome support okay so here is our plugin awesome support WordPress click on install now it will take some time to install and now you can activate the plugin after activation it will have its own tab on sidebar Okay, here is the splash screen for you. Okay, so it shows you some features or some text related to the support system. Now, here is our tickets tab. Here is where we have ticket system whenever you, a user or customer creates a support ticket you will find them in all tickets okay here is you can have it for you can select single product or multiple products this is just have to select once so if you are supporting multiple products just activate the setting multiple products if you are single product do the same so with single products all the product related information has to be entered once so for multiple you have to use multiple products so here is product one let's have it as ebook on automation okay so there is no parent no slug just add the product and here it is now let's add another ebook on test automation so both are different here so let's add it and support them differently now you have these two products let's check the tickets for each product there is no by default ticket and there are no tags no products settings so let's check the settings you will go to the tags later so here you find settings related to support uh, when you have multi products check this one then there is default assignee which is admin if you have multiple users you can select from here then you have allow registration system you can allow register users 
and select tickets from them then you have replies order home to new which is the right in order to understand support better then you have hide close so if any request or ticket is closed then it will be hidden then number of replies and open tickets will be counted and is displayed on tickets page then there are all tickets you have 10 then there is plugin page here ticket submission will have text called submit ticket okay then there is ticket list and you have terms and condition how much you prefer to have conditions for your service you can write them here then for email checking you can enable email checking so if the email with which user registers please check it so that you can avoid spam okay there is one more option mail gun public key you don't have to set this one up if you have no plans to sending email notification to a user let's go for style tab and by default it has same theme and you have typical color for status like open status as green closed as red and this is orange or a different color then awaiting reply has blue shades and in progress has purple and hold as brown so the, this is the setting related to status you can use theme style sheet and match your support dashboard with it also use editor and front end okay then you have emails if your host doesn't support sending too many emails then make sure you disable submission confirmation here and also enable only new assignment and if you have new reply from agent you can enable that just make sure that you have omission of your host if you are sending too many emails otherwise they will block your account so for this section i suggest consulting with your host then you have file upload feature Okay, so you can enable file upload so user can show you screenshots you can have maximum files size and also allowed file types so most of the images and document file types are here you can exclude some of them if you want and save changes then you have advanced settings so here we have custom login registration page you can select that then you have admin see all yes allow admins to see all the tickets then agents see all disable it so that agents cannot see all the tickets only the tickets that are assigned to them okay then you have system status you will find site URL home URL WordPress version multi-site language debug mode active plugins and few other information related to your wordpress installation okay so let's create a ticket to show you how it works now we have ticket editor here we are going to add error opening so a client or customer writes ticket something like this and here ticket creator name will be displayed so let's say Alan is writing this ticket he's my customer and supposed to have by default is owner which is me and then you can set the tag you can also select the product which is ebook on test automation okay now let's open the ticket 
and now once open you'll find that ticket in tickets tab and all tickets link okay so this is our ticket and status is set to in progress by default and here you'll find ticket details okay, ticket replies okay on the log information here and one can write the reply for that ticket okay so let's go and check it in page you can also check all tickets and here we'll find in all tickets there is one ticket open with status in progress title tag is absent product under which it is filed then suppose stuff assigned and activity done there is awaiting support reply okay so this is how ticket creation works for this plugin so this is very handy for those who have wordpress website and they are supporting uh, their coaching services products and ebooks so these people can use built-in plugin like this and have conversation with their customers this avoids using any external system and it also helps you to have a complete control for your customers and you are not letting them go to any external site for the support system let's check out this ticket in web page so you'll find our ticket has a web page now with id status date and product okay and the information related to who writes the ticket so it's alan and one minute ago and i can write the reply i just go to the admin panel and send it here so this will be a public file you can set it as private and only let user to access it so i hope you have now understood how to use this support system plugin and hopefully you can use it for your own product or ebook or coaching service that you have created on your wordpress blog system so thank you for watching this tutorial and please send in your comments on my channel message inbox thank you